On the night of November 2nd, 1982, the Salang Tunnel became a smoking tomb for hundreds of travelers. A massive traffic jam inside the cramped, narrow tube turned horrific as an inferno erupted, rapidly engulfing vehicles in flames. Fiery diesel fumes and acrid smoke suffocated drivers and passengers. Desperate survivors fled on foot, only to be frozen in their tracks by the numbing negative 20 degrees Celsius cold. By morning, a hellish fire inside this high mountain pass had killed 176 souls in the deadliest tunnel disaster ever. Nestled within the formidable Hindu Kush mountains, the Salang Tunnel in Afghanistan stands as a monument to the nation's complex history. This engineering feat plays a pivotal role in Afghanistan's economic development and facilitates vital connections between diverse regions. However, the tunnel also poses immense challenges due to aging infrastructure, technical issues, and natural hazards. The world's most dangerous tunnel epitomizes both the vast potential and acute struggles facing Afghanistan as it seeks to rebuild and advance. Afghanistan's challenging geography poses inherent barriers to domestic connectivity. Landlocked within rugged mountains, the country's transportation networks face immense constraints. The Hindu Kush range separates northern provinces from the rest of the nation. Before the Salang Tunnel's construction, traveling between Kabul and the north was an enormously difficult traverse over high mountain passes. Roads were sparse, poorly maintained, and frequently disrupted by landslides and snow. Journeys over the clouded Salang Pass stretching above 3,000 meters could take days. Cargo transported in trucks had to laboriously wind through treacherous switchbacks. Afghanistan desperately needed an improved transportation route integrating the northern regions with the rest of the country. Constructing a direct passage through the mountains became an engineering imperative. Given Afghanistan's challenging topography, expanding the transportation footprint necessitated conquering nature. Constructing the Salang Tunnel involved immense efforts to penetrate the heart of the Hindu Kush Mountains. Engineers had to overcome construction complexities posed by the region's geology and climate. At an altitude of 3,363 meters, workers labored to excavate through unstable rocky terrain. Harsh winters amid the mountain slopes brought sub-zero temperatures and blizzards, while summers saw melting snow swell rivers. Natural hazards like landslides and avalanches further threatened tunneling operations, but determined workers pressed on. The Soviet Union completed boring the 2.6-kilometer-long tunnel through the mountains in 1964 after five years of perseverant work. The Salang Tunnel became a symbol of remarkably overcoming geographic barriers to connect Afghanistan. The Salang Tunnel was an engineering marvel when completed in 1964, boasting twin distinctions. At 3,363 meters elevation, it was the world's highest road tunnel at the time. The Salang also represented the first tunnel passing directly under the Hindu Kush Mountains. This pioneering tunnel astonished the world by enabling road vehicles to traverse right beneath the high Hindu Kush for the first time. The Soviets constructed a route where only daring mountaineers and pack animals could previously tread. The Salang Tunnel's completion was a watershed event for Afghanistan's connectivity. This shortcut reduced travel distances between Kabul and the country's north by over 100 kilometers. Journey times dropped dramatically, from days of grueling overland treks to mere hours. Trucks no longer had to crawl over the cloud-veiled Salang Pass, braving icy roads. Year-round access through the mountains became possible as the tunnel bypassed areas frequently blocked by snow and avalanches. This all-weather passage promised to integrate isolated northern regions with the rest of Afghanistan through modern infrastructure. The Salang Tunnel's superlative achievements symbolized national unity and economic progress, inspiring tremendous hope. But the tunnel's distinction as the world's most perilous crossing also loomed tragically ahead. 
The Salang Tunnel is infamously known as the world's most dangerous tunnel, with an alarming history of catastrophes. While a crucial crossing, the tunnel's outdated infrastructure and technology make travel inherently precarious. At just 7 meters wide, the tunnel has two very narrow lanes. Ventilation and lighting systems are inadequate, with limited emergency features. The tunnel's design falls critically short of modern highway safety standards. Fatal accidents, fires, floods, and collapses have occurred over decades of operation. Friction and overheating from heavy traffic often ignite fiery infernos inside the confined space. In 1982, a catastrophic blaze led to 176 deaths. Floods also claim lives by drowning trapped vehicles. In March 2010, a traffic jam during an avalanche buried cars under snow, killing 172 people. Lethal levels of carbon monoxide and suffocation from smoke represent ever-present dangers. Without effective ventilation, the poisonous fumes can swiftly kill drivers and passengers. Those who manage to escape crashed or stalled vehicles face icy temperatures and fatal falls inside the high-altitude tunnel. The Salang Tunnel's utility comes at the steep price of being incredibly perilous. Recognizing the critical need for safety improvements, authorities have undertaken reconstruction projects over the years. But the tunnel continues to pose risks to travelers. After severe damage during Afghanistan's civil wars in the 1990s, the Salang Road received post-conflict repairs in the early 2000s. But maintenance has been inadequate. The highway leading to the tunnel remains narrow and dilapidated, with minimal lighting or guardrails. The risks of plunging crashes loom all along the route. Recent efforts have aimed at comprehensive renovations to the Salang Highway and facilities around the tunnel. Since 2021, a major reconstruction project has been underway, seeking to upgrade the strategic crossing. Works have involved tunnel repairs and the installation of concrete walls and drainage systems. While reconstruction progresses slowly, the tunnel infrastructure continues to lack modern safety and ventilation features. Vehicles passing through face ever-present dangers ranging from asphyxiation to collisions in the cramped, outdated tube. Despite periodic rebuilding attempts, the Salang Tunnel remains hazardous. For all its risks, the Salang Tunnel remains Afghanistan's economic lifeline. As the most direct route connecting Kabul to the nation's northern provinces, the tunnel carries the lifeblood of trade and commerce. Vital goods flow through its perilous confines daily. The Salang Tunnel provides the key passageway between Afghanistan's bustling capital and Central Asia. This connectivity enables the country's imports and exports. The tunnel also links regional markets and industries, facilitating domestic economic integration. Shutting down the tunnel creates tremendous hardship. When the Taliban closed the Salang route in 1997 during fighting against the Northern Alliance, the nation's economy suffered heavily. Shipments of food, fuel, and medical supplies were severed. After reopening in late 2001, the tunnel restoration revived Afghanistan's growth. Despite its dangers, vehicles and convoys continue to risk the tunnel daily to sustain cross-country trade. Afghanistan relies profoundly on the Salang Tunnel's role as an economic artery. The absence of alternative routes forces dependence on this lifeline tunnel that feeds the nation's economy. The Salang Tunnel stands as an engineering wonder, representing Afghanistan's spirit of resilience. Its construction was an immense undertaking that realized a visionary dream of connecting a divided nation, separated by imposing mountain barriers. The tunnel is a mark of distinguished Soviet engineering capabilities, boring through kilometers of solid mountain to open the first road crossing of the Hindu Kush range was an awe-inspiring achievement. The tunnel's completion brought people, cultures, and economies closer. Inaugurated in 1964, the Salang Tunnel became a symbol of national unity and modernization, heralding a new era of infrastructure development for Afghanistan. It embodied aspirations of economic progress. Five decades later, the tunnel remains a vital channel bridging the nation's north with the rest of the country. The Salang Tunnel adorns Afghanistan's currency, immortalized on the one Afghani banknote.
It features proudly on national postage stamps as an engineering marvel. This icon encapsulates the tunnel's profound meaning in Afghanistan's collective consciousness as a treasured asset that overcame geographical divides. The Selang Tunnel now requires substantial upgrades to address its myriad risks. The tunnel demands renovation and capacity expansion to meet rising connectivity needs safely. By employing modern technologies and designs, the tunnel can be transformed into a state-of-the-art, efficient crossing. Advanced ventilation and air filtration systems with vehicle emission controls are critically needed to prevent lethal gas buildups within the tunnel. Emergency stations equipped with firefighting equipment, communication lines, and rescue services at regular intervals would enable rapid response to accidents. Widening the tunnel and highway lanes would ease congestion and minimize collisions and pileups. Fortified tunnel walls, drainage, and lighting would enhance structural safety and navigation. Strict safety protocols, including maximum speed limits, could improve compliance and reduce risks. Technological enhancements using surveillance systems, hazard monitors, and automatic incident detection would boost safety management. With ample capacity and smart technology, a revamped Selang Tunnel can offer safe, speedy, and reliable connectivity, benefiting Afghanistan's economy and society. The Selang Tunnel stands today as both a prized asset and a grave liability for Afghanistan. Its strategic significance for national connectivity and trade is invaluable, yet outdated infrastructure and facilities render the tunnel extraordinarily hazardous. Major upgrades through extensive reconstruction can transform this linchpin crossing into a modern engineering masterpiece. With an expanded, technologically advanced Salang Tunnel, Afghanistan can efficiently achieve its vision of an integrated nation bound by safe road infrastructure. The tunnel's checkered history as a feat of engineering bravery and tragedy symbolizes the nation's struggles and resilience. The Salang epitomizes the challenges of balancing connectivity needs with human safety. But if its immense risks can be overcome, the Salang Tunnel promises to unleash Afghanistan's vast potential.